Hey, hey everyone, we are live from the Wachovia Center. We're, we're very lucky tonight. We have, along with our normal Tim Panaccio, not, not to call you normal Tim, but you know what I mean. <laughs> we have Happy normal. Hall of Famer, Jim Matson from Edmonton Journal. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Very good. So uh, what brings you to Philadelphia? Vetchkin Watch. Vetchkin yeah, Watch, really. It's a big deal, eh? It was Canada. I don't know. I'm sure it's in some places in the United States. It's probably here. Yeah, no, it is. It is for sure. Um, I always I have this question. I, I, I get to watch a little bit of Canadian TV. Are Canadians in general, what are their feelings as far as how they att attach themselves maybe to a Russian player versus, say, a Canadian player? If any good, I don't think it matters. It doesn't matter? No. It'd be your best player in your team with the Russian, not anybody from the current. They wouldn't care. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> they just want the best player on their team, not the other team. So that's their big that's thing. The all right. Oh, it's kind of interesting to me. Um, so, um, so now it's uh, so Tim. Now here we are, game three. Is this a swing game in the series at this point? A lot of people say uh, the series begins tonight. Really? You know, and we'll see. I mean, the Caps have changed, uh, with the exception of the first line, they've changed their entire lineup. Um, I think you can expect to see somebody take a run at Marty Beer on the way to Flyers ran uh, Chris Paul UA. Right. Um, and I think you'll see a little bit different, a little meaner uh, caps come, come to them in the first period tonight. Yeah. So I think it's a, a, a swing game. I think you're right. Whoever, yeah, this whichever seems, gets this game, I think it impacts the series. Seems like, seems like the game. Um, now, they say it's a, they always say now it's a best of five. Flyers have home ice. Does that really matter? Or, Jim, tell me this. Because to me, this, it seems. Home ice is way overrated. It is, right? I mean, it's Except just. Except in game seven where you want it. But I'm still bad it's way overrated. I, that's that boy stuff. Right. Right. But I don't think it really makes a lot of difference. Right. Right. Not much. Well, yeah. I mean, you get to the Western Conference here. This is a we have a pretty much a joke of a conference compared to what you guys do, huh? Dallas. <laughs> Oh man, I know. I tried to get to Carolina and Edmonton back from five, six, and seven a couple of years ago. That was tough. Um, to me, it's always about the clinching game. It's where the clinching game is what you want. Five, six, and seven. Five and seven are home, so that's why you want home ice advantage. But well, you know what, the, what my factor though tonight, Jimmy, tell me agree with this. Strategy always comes in, comes into the series. Tonight, I think the Flyers have their first strategy. They're bringing back during Andrew. We're both surprised to see Las Vegas out. Looking at that. Look at that. Yaroslav Modry, and this is against the same thing as when he went. Right. Yaroslav Modry then. So now you got Modry, Smith, and Hatcher. Three fairly slow guys. I, I, I really question that. Because if you went for a straight lower, or you, like most coaches do in the playoffs, err on yeah. the side of a guy who's played for a long time rather than a young player. But I thought he yeah. was going to. Although, I mean, we only have to go back to game one to realize that it was too good to be able to clock and take by Ovechkin for the winning goal. That's true. I'm sure that. But that pass was wasn't that was that thrown by Modry back to him? Yeah. Yeah. Cook's had a few turnovers, and with John Steen, he tends to remember them. Yeah. Cook has not been one of his favorite players this year. Yeah, he's definitely has been in and out of the lineup a lot. Uh, what now? You watch the Western Conference gym all the time. Have you been following the series? Were you in the first two games in the series, or is this? Oh, or is yeah, it just, yeah. Yeah. So this whole one. I'm not. I'm not Looking at San Jose, thinking the same old San Jose. Really? And, you know, they lost the Oilers uh, up to nothing in 2006, the uh, second round. Uh, they lost last year, second round of Detroit. Had them on the most of the Detroit score in the last 30 seconds. Right. Uh, kind of three. That's something wrong with that team. That's the best team in the West. They can't get past the second round. Yeah. I mean, what do you... What do you think as far as the Eastern Conference and Western Conference goes? I mean, Calgary to me is the seventh seed. Seems better than almost everybody in the East. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's more of a free for all in the in the East. The teams are evenly matched. What you get the West Western winner, you're gonna have to get your brain beat in before you can get to the final. Yeah, and I sure. and I knew I knew, like in the Anaheim case, they come back and beat Dallas. So they're gonna have to play Detroit and San Jose. If they yeah, that's but that's the way it is. Because you don't blame Pittsburgh for dodging a flyer. <laughs> no, I don't. That's, uh, 
Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's not like they've ever, never done anything like that before, the Penguins. I mean, it's not like Mario Lemieux. Uh, anyway, we won't go there. <laughs> I wonder what our viewers think of uh, what the Penguins, I mean, had to go through the other night with that mural of... Uh, of the handshake hanging outside. Right, Murray at the press conference yesterday saying, I had nothing to do with that photo outside. No, I wonder who did. That's an amazing thing. Oh, I know. That was an incredible thing. So, to Tim, the Flyers' mood right now it seems pretty loose. Yeah, I, I miss it soon. At least since they've been in a while. They're really confident. Uh, Marty Biron, you know what? I, I, I saw something the other day. Marty Biron, ever since his wife gave birth to, to the child, He's even more relaxed. He's been a little bit uptight the last couple of days, and I, I think now it had something to do with, 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 I was misreading. I thought it may have been a theory. I think it had to do with his wife and child. So he's, he's like, totally, right. total, totally ready to go in terms of <laughs> his, his, his relaxation. He's really kicking his legs back. He's joking around with people yeah. today. That's the kind of morning beer we saw most of the season. Right. So that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Is the weather is sure. manifests itself on the ice. Sure. Finally, Jim, I'd be remiss to say because we have so many Edmonton people on the site. I mean, just it's one of our biggest places. Edmonton signing so far. What are your thoughts? Edmonton signing. They're getting the ones they want. They should sign, sign. Uh, Tom Gilbert's a really good player. Yeah. He's going to be a, on the all rounds for you. He's a very good player. Six years is a long time, but he's a still defenseman. Um, Robert Nelson, you know, finally saw the light after a few years. Of yeah. He's a second line player now, and Travis Goff, the other player, I thought was terrible in the game of the year. I don't understand why they were in. He was playing 20 minutes a game. So, Jared Stoll and the former flyer, Yoni Pitkinen, uh, will still be unsigned, I would expect. I think they may have been going to arbitration if they don't mind with the Kelly Lowe's in office. Really? Yeah, Yoni was kind of a disappointment. He was one of those players who's a, a little bit of a disconnect there. When he played well, you think, man, it's like all good. Yeah. And then the game, he plays 26 minutes, you don't even notice he plays again. Yeah. So, he doesn't get enough points offensively to be an offensive player. He's not a good enough offensive player to be shut down. He's one of those players that's in the Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think he, he's a good player, but he's not a great player. So yeah. I, I think it was a trade. Okay. Uh, to me, it's for both teams. Uh, it's it's like it. Beautiful wasn't playing with the darn and Edmonton, and the Pitchin wasn't playing very well in Philadelphia. Yeah. It's worked out well here, for sure. You used the, you used the word there? Disconnect. That was a Hitchcock quote. There's a disconnect almost there. Yeah, we always, we often heard that he was kind of unteachable. That was another Yanni Pitkin thing. He's a nice kid. Yeah. But, but he's very much a loner. Yeah. He kind of keeps himself. And, and uh, I think he's, he's a Yeah. He has to play better just to fight. He's a great guy. He's a great now. He's a 10% raise. Yeah. He's a 27 uh, but I don't know I'd go higher than that. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for both joining us. We appreciate it again, and uh, enjoy the game. Thank you. Thanks very much.